We are going to take a look at the process of importing DICOMs into an existing Blue Sky Plan case. If you go to File, Import DICOMs, the software opens a flyout menu that allows us to choose between importing an impression scan, a model scan, or a scan appliance. Depending on what is selected, the software will take us through a short process flow to import the relevant item. For now, we're going to take a look at importing an impression scan. We navigate to the relevant folder, select the DICOMs, define the relevant field of view, and now we see the impression on the screen. We can notice on the right hand side the software has opened for us short process flow for importing the relevant DICOM set. At this point, we want to adjust the density threshold to make sure there are no holes in the impression. And this is important when you're creating the impression as well. You want to make sure there's material all around the teeth, that there are no holes in the impression from any direction in the relevant areas. Once we have done that, we can press next and the software will convert the DICOM files into an STL surface. Okay, now the software has converted an impression from DICOMs into an STL surface, and we're going to draw a curve to define the relevant area that should be inverted. The process of drawing the curve here is very similar to the process of drawing the curve when creating a surgical guide. To draw, you hold down the shift key and drag with your left mouse button. If you want to rotate and stop drawing, then you let go of the shift key, use your left mouse button, and then hold down the shift key once again when you like to resume drawing the curve. Go back to the starting position, press edit curve, and now you have the opportunity to fine tune the placement. And once you're happy with the placement of the curve, create inverted model. Okay, the software has now inverted the impression into a model and we can see it on the screen. We continue with the process, click next. And the software opens the line model screen, the screen that we're familiar with. We go ahead and start marking the model along with the patient CT. We're placing marks on the teeth in both scans. And then we click next. In the last step of the importation process, we could confirm alignment in the 2D and 3D views. If we want to make any modifications, press the back button. Otherwise, press next to finish the importation process. We now have the imported inverted impression appearing in our surfaces panel. And we also have the actual impression as well. The model manipulation panel also gives us access to the impression inversion functionality if we didn't conclude the entire process previously or if we wanted to reinvert or do other manipulations with the model.